everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma, also known as Made in the Moment. I knit, I crochet, and I also design patterns. And today I'm really excited to show you how to make this two-tone bralette. I made the first sample in this mohair yarn and then made another one in this linen rayon blend just so you can get an idea of what this design looks like in different kinds of yarn. This is a made to measure tutorial, which means I'll give you a couple of spots to take measurements of yourself, and then you can make the bralette in any size that fits you exactly how you want it to. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my other videos, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok so that you can keep up with me a little bit more. I post much more regularly on both of those. I also wanted to say, if you like this video, then you should also check out my friend Kelsey at Passio Knit Goods. She is like the queen of crochet bralettes. She has video tutorials on her YouTube and patterns on her Etsy, so be sure to check her out. I will link her information down below. But that's all I have to say, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, before I really get into anything, I should address that there is a carnival going on at the elementary school on my street. So if you hear children screaming or like loud music, then that is what that is. What you're going to need for this tutorial is two colors of a light weight yarn. The original sample I made in this mohair from Hobby, it's the Diablo mohair, and this is a lace weight or a weight zero yarn so it's really pretty thin i did crochet with it double on here so that made it a little bit thicker but what i'm going to be using for this tutorial is a combination of hobby's twister solid and rowan linen drape that i thrifted it's a linen and rayon blend and this doesn't say what yarn weight it is but it recommends like a three to a four millimeter hook so I would guess this is probably similar to this one and this is weight two. You can basically use whatever yarn you want because we're just going to be going based on measurements and kind of trying it on to fit your body and I do only need two colors but I kind of want to use all three of these so I'm going to see if I can figure out how to work this pink in somewhere but I think I'm going to do the two cups in these two colors. And then you'll also need a hook. I use this 4.5 millimeter hook for basically everything. So I'm using this for this project. I'm going to be using the yarn double just for a little bit more coverage. And then I have scissors and a measuring tape. You will need a yarn needle to weave in your ends. And I also have my emotional support LaCroix. This is not required, but it is encouraged. Oh, that's nice. Before we start, I'm just going to kind of walk you through the basic construction of this bralette. So you're going to start with a chain here, and then you just kind of go up and around the chain back and forth until you get to the width of cup that you want. Then you make the second cup in the other color, and then you're going to connect them together with these rows of double crochets and sort of add this back strap bit and ties. Before you start, you need to take one measurement from your nipple to basically like down across your under boob and to like where your bra band hits. For me, that's about three inches. But yeah, this bralette should fit any size. So you're going to start off with a chain that is basically from your nipple to your bra band. Like I said, I'm going to be holding the yarn double just to get a little bit more coverage. So you're going to start by making a slip knot. Insert your hook into the slip knot and tighten it. And then you're going to chain until you get to the measurement that you just took. So for me, that's three inches. And that ended up with this hook and this yarn being 11 stitches. So once you have your base chain, you're going to work up and around back down this way and this is going to be the center of the bra cup. So in the second chain from the hook, which is this one, you're going to make a single crochet and make single crochets all the way to the end of the chain. Mm -hmm. 
when you get to the end of the chain, you're going to make two more single crochets into this last stitch right here. So you should have a total of three single crochets in the last stitch. And especially if you're new to crocheting, but honestly, if you just need a little bit of help finding stitches, then I would recommend putting a stitch marker into the second of those three stitches that you just made. And I don't have any stitch markers in the room right now, and I don't want to go find any, so I'm going to just use a bobby pin. So this is the first stitch, second, and third. Now that you've made that increase, you're just going to single crochet back down the row this way until you get to the last stitch. And you can see that I'm crocheting over this tail right here. That's just so that I don't have to weave it in later. So to do that, you're just going to crochet as you normally would, grab the yarn, making sure that this tail is inside, and then finish and close up your single crochet. So I have made it to the end of my row, and I'm going to turn my work. And I'm actually not going to chain one at the beginning of the row. For single crochets, it actually gives you a straighter line if you don't chain any. So I'm just going to go right back in to that first stitch there and crochet all the way until I get to without chaining and go back up the other way. And from this point on, you're just going to keep doing that, repeating every row with an increase in the second of three stitches until the cup basically has the coverage that you want. What I would suggest is just crocheting for a few rows and then holding it up to your chest and kind of seeing how it fits and how much of your chest it covers. And then if you want more coverage, just add some extra rows but you're just going to keep making rows until the cup is the size that you want it to be. So if we look at this cup, obviously the stitches are a lot smaller because the yarn is thinner. So I did a lot more rows than I will on this one, but I want the coverage to be about the same. And for reference, this one that I made is about three inches. And if I measure from my nipple to kind of, so this is the coverage that I like. If you want less, you can make it smaller. If you want more, you can make it bigger. I finished one of the bra cups and I wanted to show you what it looks like compared to the mohair one. So because this yarn is thicker, it's a bit stiffer. It actually reminds me a lot of the like Lily's sugar and cream cotton. This is going to be a little bit stiffer. It obviously has a little less stretch and is kind of just more structured than this mohair. I made them about the same size, but I just wanted to show you what they look like next to each other. And obviously it's going to be a little bit different depending on the exact yarn that you use. So I'm on the last stitch here and I'm just going to chain one and then cut the yarn and pull through. And then you can just set this aside for the time being. And then you're going to make your second cup using the same exact measurements and row count as the first one, but just in your new color. You can go back and watch that section if you need some help, or you can just repeat the steps and come back when you have your second bra cup and I'll show you the next step. I have finished my second cup and now I'm going to show you how to connect them. You want to leave your yarn attached at the end of your second cup. Again, you're not going to chain one, but we're going to do a row of single crochets going across the bottom of the cup right here. So the first stitch is a little bit tricky. You're kind of just gonna go into the same stitch that you just went into last. Make a single crochet and then 
single crochet into the next kind of hole that you can go into. So the way this should end up is one single crochet for each row. And the spaces kind of just appear. You're basically going around the bottom stitch of the row, of each row. So you can see this is laying nice and flat. If you do too few stitches, then the bottom of this will start to kind of pull in. And if you do too many, then it will start to flare out. So you really want to make sure that you're doing one stitch for every row of single crochets. And instead of finishing the crochet with your first color, you're going to change to the second color. So you're going to take your new color and use this to finish the stitch and change colors. And I like to tie a knot with the tails of these colors just to make sure that it's super secure and that it's not going to unravel. And you're going to want to leave this color attached still. And you're just going to do the same thing across the bottom of this cup as well. Your first stitch will go right here, right into the corner. And you're going to want to make sure this Instead of crocheting three, you're just going to do two. Because you're basically done increasing, but you do want something to kind of turn the stitches as you go over to the other side. You're going to use the same color change method that you did before, where you do your last single crochet in this color, and then you're going to finish the stitch with your other color that should be just hanging right there waiting for you. And again, on the color change, you want to go pretty tight just to keep things looking clean. And then just continue on in your new color. Okay, so once you make it all the way around, you're going to make a slip stitch into the first single crochet on the bottom here. So to slip stitch, you put your hook into the stitch, grab the yarn, and then just pull it through both of the loops on your hook. Then you are going to chain two and start working on this bottom band. So for this, you're just going to do a row of double crochets. So to double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And just repeat that until you get to the color change. Okay, so this is the last stitch in the white and I'm going to switch to the blue. So to do that, you start your double crochet, yarn over, pull through two with the white, and then switch to your new color. Because of the way the yarn kind of comes up like this, I'm going to sort of try and hide this in the next double crochet stitch. So instead of just going right into the next stitch right here, 
I'm going to first go under this kind of tail that comes up and then go into the next stitch and pull through under and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So this kind of just hides this a little bit. And then you're going to double crochet to the end of the row. The next thing you're going to do after you finish this row of double crochets is add this side thing. This is gonna go across the side and go towards the back. And the way you're gonna do that is you're going to add some chains here. But to figure out how many you need to chain, you're going to hold up the bra cup to your body and then measure from the edge where the double crochets end to your spine, like the middle of your back. So for me, that's eight inches, but I don't want the kind of side back tie thing to go all the way to my spine. I want it to have a little bit of space so it can sort of pull in. So I'm going to leave four inches open basically on my back. I'm going to do four inches of chains for the double crochets going around your side. So this is going to be different depending on how open you want the back to be and kind of just your sizing in general. But I think a good rule of thumb is to leave about four inches from the center of your back so that when you tie the ties, it can pull in a little bit and cinch. Depending on your yarn, you're gonna have more stretch. This yarn is not incredibly stretchy, but I still want to leave a little bit of space kind of in the back. And you'll see what that looks like more once I finish this section. So from my last double crochet, I'm going to chain loosely until this chain measures four inches. All right, so that's four inches. So I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to add two extra chains. These are my turning chains and will kind of count as my first double crochet. Then I'm going to make a double crochet into the next stitch, the third chain from the hook. And then just keep making double crochets along the chain. And once you finish double crocheting along the chain, you're just going to double crochet into these stitches as you normally would until you get to the color change. Okay, so I've gotten to the end of this row with the white, but now we need to match this length on this side. So the first thing you need to do is figure out how many stitches that you have to do. Starting from the edge here, you're gonna count to the end. So I have 13 double crochets and then this chain two space, so I'm gonna count that as 14 double crochets. And the way we're going to add stitches on this side is by making essentially a foundation double crochet. To do that, you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into the same place that this last double crochet stitch is. You're going to yarn over and pull through, and then you're going to chain one. So you still have three stitches on your hook, and then you're going to double crochet as you normally would. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And what I basically did is I added a chain and a double crochet onto the end of this. So you're just going to do that again. So yarn over and go into this chain space that you just made. Yarn over, pull through, and then chain one, and then make a double crochet as normal. So now we have two double crochet stitches, and I'm going to do that until I get to 14, and you do that until you get to the same amount of stitches as you had on the other side. And then once you get to the amount of double crochets that you need, you're going to chain two and turn your work and then continue to double crochet down the row. And I'm going to make three more rows of double crochets. So I'll have a total of five rows. I'm going to do that and then I'll show you how to finish up and add the straps. So I finished my five rows of double crochets and from the bottom of the bra cup, it measures three inches. And if you compare that to 
the mohair version I made, which is thinner yarn, same size hook, but thinner yarn, that was about two and a half inches. Depending on the yarn that you use and just kind of where you want the bottom of the bralette to hit, then that will depend on how many rows you make. But I am actually going to cut my yarn for now and show you first how to make the straps for the cups. The first thing you're going to do is find sort of where the middle of the cup is and you can see the the point sort of. So you're going to find the stitch that's at the top and insert your hook into that. Then you're going to make a slip knot and pull that through that stitch and chain one. And then you're going to go back into the space where your slip stitch was, yarn over, pull through, and chain one. So that's your chain stitch, and then you're going to yarn over, pull through two, and that's your single crochet stitch. So then this is the chain stitch. You're going to go back into the chain, grab the yarn, pull through, chain one, and then yarn over, single crochet. Repeat that again. Insert your hook into that chain one. Yarn over, pull through, chain one, and then single crochet. You can see this is creating a nice, strong strap that looks good on both sides. And again, this is going to depend on preference, but I would recommend a strap length that is about 18 inches. But what you can do if you're not sure, you can crochet on this side until it gets to a certain length and then switch over to this side and just work them up kind of at the same time and try it on by tying them behind your neck to see, you know, how much chain you need. So you definitely want enough where you can tie them comfortably behind your neck, but I'm going to make this about 18 inches and then for the other side, you just do the exact same thing where you attach and do the foundation single crochet row. So once you finish both of your straps, then I'll show you how to make the strap for the back. So I finished both of the straps on the bra cups, and now I'm going to show you how I do the straps at the back. Basically what I'm gonna do is have one strap in the blue on this side and one strap in the white on this side, and then they're gonna do a little crisscross and come here and tie at the back. You're going to start in the top corner of one of the sides, insert your hook, and again you can do a either a foundation chain or just a normal chain. And for these ones I'm actually just going to do normal like thin chains. But if I was using a thinner yarn like mohair then I would probably do another foundation single crochet. You're going to insert your hook, pull the slip knot through, and then if you're just doing a simple chain, you are just going to chain. The length of this chain is going to be really different for everyone, depending on how far back these double crochet sides go, basically how much space you have in the back. So what I'm gonna do is just crochet, you know, something that visually looks like a good amount, and then I will kind of hold it up to my body and see if that seems long enough. So the way that this is gonna cross is it will go through this row and then cross back under here and tie here. So I'm sort of mimicking how the tie will go and seeing how much more I want to crochet. This seems like a pretty good amount. So I'm going to cut my yarn and tie off and then repeat on the other side until the chain on the other side is the same length. After I'm finished with this, I'll show you how I weave in some of my ends. And then I kind of want to add a little bit of surface crochet. So I'll show you how to do that as well if that's something that you're interested in doing. Okay, so here's the general concept of surface crochet if you want to do something. I'm just taking one strand of this white and you're going to insert your hook into whatever stitch you want the design to start on and then pull the slip knot through that hole, pull tight. And then you're basically just going to go into the fabric of the crochet, grab the yarn from behind, and slip stitch 
into the stitch that's on your hook. Here's that again, into the fabric, grab the yarn from behind, pull through, and then slip stitch. I'll do a few more so you can see what it's starting to look like. So it basically just creates this fun design on the top of the fabric. So this is what I ended up doing with the surface crochet. It's definitely adds something to the piece. I am going to show you how I weave my ends in. I'll start with the ones for these straps. So you're going to thread your yarn needle and then insert down this way. And then I like to go sort of back and forth a little bit. So I'm going to go back this way, kind of through the stitch, through here. And that's actually pretty secure. If I was using a different yarn with a little bit more of an open weave, kind of like the mohair, I would probably go back down again this way. But this yarn is so kind of dense that I think this, this is plenty. So then I'm just going to trim the yarn really close to the stitch. And there it is, now you can't see it anymore. I'll show you what I'm going to do for the surface crochet since this is a contrast color and it's not going to hide quite as well. So I think the easiest way for to do this without it showing through to the other side is I'm just going to weave it into actually this side of the surface crochet. I'm just going to go back and forth along here And then I'm going to turn back around and just go back down the other way. And there it is. It's pretty well hidden, I think. So you're just going to weave the rest of your ends in. I'm going to do that. And then I will show you how to lace up the back here. Okay, I actually changed my mind. I'm gonna show you how to lace the back up before I weave the ends in. These are going to cross, cross, and then tie. So grab your crochet hook. You might want to use a bigger one depending on the size of this chain that you have. I have four rows here, so halfway through is between rows two and three. I want to pull the chain through here. So I'm going to insert my hook from back to front like this, grab the chain and pull through. And then we're going to do the same thing on this bottom corner here. So I'm just going to go kind of in between these last two double crochets, hook from back to front and grab the chain, pull through. And then when you put this on to tighten it, you'll just kind of pull on the strings like that. And I'll show you what this looks like on as well. But yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you make this, please tag me at Made in the Moment. I would love to see all of the things that you make. I think that there's so much fun opportunity for colors in this. I think this is a great scrap project because it uses such a small amount of yarn and you can really use any yarn that you want. And depending on the yarn, it'll give you kind of a really different look. That's all I have for you. If you enjoyed, then please consider liking this video. It really helps and subscribing to my channel. I make lots of other tutorials and just kind of sit down chatty videos and I would love for you to be here for them. Bye.